Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fan Sports Podcast as we continue on the player by player on the Dolphins Daily Report. Let's dive into it. Next up in line, we have our best offensive lineman when he plays. That's a big caveat there. So we have Teron Armstead. Now, he missed a lot of games last year. He's often injured. This is his whole thing with his career. But even with that said, we are going to beat to Ron Armstead, we are going to do everything we can to um, to keep to Ron. I mean, to Ron is um, to Ron is the real deal. To Ron Armstead here, he is a beast when he plays. He really is. Um, we're gonna say we're gonna keep to Ron Armstead. Now, if there is a better free agent option, I wouldn't mind looking into that. But um, he knows the system. He's He's been rock solid for us. And the question really has to be is, can he make the transition from often being injured to being healthy? Odds are saying no. I would have to agree with them. Uh, so what we have to figure out is how to manage his work so that we can get him healthy for the playoffs and hopefully get a shot at making a run deep down the stretch. Now, that is a big number that we're talking about, right? So he's going to be a $20 million cap hit under under our current uh, contract. I don't think he would re renegotiate his contract. Um I think it's something that needs to be talked about um, because he does get injured so much. But uh, Armstead is is the real deal when he plays. Uh, I can't think of a better offensive lineman when he is out there healthy. And um, what we're looking for now is um, just figure out a way to keep him healthy, to stay healthy. Uh, we got to shore up more offensive linemen in there. Got to protect. He is a tremendous uh, blocker when it comes to running, for passing. Like he is just, he's the whole package. So, Teron Armstead, we're going to say we're going to keep and um, we will take the $20 million hit. Again, just to recap, for the first six players, we are keeping all of them, with the exception of maybe Xavier Howard looking at a contract renegotiation, or maybe perhaps looking at. Uh, just leaving that all together. So Teron Armstead is one of those pillars of our offensive line and of our team. We need to keep him and we need to figure out how to keep him healthy. If not, let's trade or let's do something with it. But we have to have a like tier one offensive line and left tackle. That is just one of those must for us. If we want to keep our running game, if we want to keep uh, to a healthy, this is going to be the investment that we must make uh, as we go forward. So Teron Armstead last year, I would grade him a B and only because when he did play, he did play good. He did play hurt in the New York game um, and it showed and he was uh, hurting, but we um, we need him to be healthy and we need him to be good. So Teron Armstead for that, we give you a B. It's mostly for the injuries, not for your play itself. And we need you out there every single game to make a difference. So it's it's tough to say it, but, you know, if we can get a good draft switch, maybe that could work. If we get a left tackle, um, there's a lot of good offensive linemen coming out in the draft. We'll talk about that later as we get into the draft. But for right now, Teron Armstead. We're saying we must keep him until we find a better solution. This has been the Dolphins Daily Report. This is your host, Rodrigo. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. Please help the algorithm hitting that bell notification, hitting the thumbs up. And we appreciate all the support. Um, we have crossed over the 200,000 views from all our videos. 
and we're just so uh, humble and and thankful to all of you guys that are watching. Until next time, this is Rodrigo saying peace. Mm-hmm.